There is a standardized solution to education in the nature of mind. There is. It's existing. It's the balanced view training. I know for some people it's hard to get it in the beginning, including myself, I admit, because I thought I knew it already or I thought it's very similar to X, X Y, Z, but it's not. Um, there is a standardized solution that cuts through all confusion, doubt and misery and agony that we can put ourselves into when we seek for a special state. So from the beginning, from the very first open meeting or encounter with a participant or trainer or reading a sentence from the book or text, um, you see that there's no special state to get into. The special state is every state. The special state is if you recognize for a moment what is listening right now, what's looking through your eyes. This is open intelligence. You see, we have to normalize reality because if we conf con um, add on to reality many descriptions and many belief systems that are so loaded with different meanings, we will never reach to an agreement. So there will always be some kind of confusion. Okay, is it that or this or that? But then in the Balance You training we are empowered and that's what I did for myself. I didn't believe anything. And I thought it's lots of nonsense and it didn't make sense that life can be so simple. But when I started to take short moments and use the support, I thought, wow, this is really cool. It's, it's really simple. And of course, it took me a while to admit because there was a lot of arrogance there. But I thought, it's really simple and nothing is required. You are required and that's it. So you have you, that's perfect. <laughs> and, and you have your mind, which is also perfect. You can't get rid of your mind. So there's no need to do so. And you, you have short moments. Short moments are like a fun breeze in the middle of a nice day. You know, you're just a fun breeze of instinctive recognition. Mm, you can relax for a short moment. You know, and even relaxation is so loaded with so much bullshit that we even don't use this word too much. Because relaxation, ooh, how can I be relaxed? You know, just chill out. <laughs> short moment of instinctive recognition. You know, before I tried to relax, it was like, uh, it wasn't relaxed at all. I was trying to relax. <laughs> you know, and it's, it has to be simple. Reality is simple. Look at it. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it, it, it has to be simple. We don't need to add on any of the information that is not helpful anymore. And we have great discernment as human beings. We know what works, and we like results, and we like benefits, so that's what we do. And this is what I found in the Balanced View training. I got results from the first short moment. You know, regardless of skepticism and doubt, and I had loads, believe me, I, I started to find relief within myself, just testing a short moment in the midst of anxiety. So let's take, for example, anxiety, because it's great. I have lots of it all the time. So, <laughs> even now. <laughs> so. And it does become funnier and funnier. That's the fun bar part, you know. It's not like, okay, I'll be a happy, stable person who is totally in open intelligence when I don't have anxiety. No! <laughs> I'll be a happy and stable person when I have anxiety and when I don't. This, this is a better definition of reality. Because if you wait just for special state, you know, the nice sensations and the good stuff, the good data, it will never arrive, so sorry to <laughs> poke the bubble, or how you say it in English, I don't know, but it will never arrive. I tried for many years to reach to only good descriptions about myself and the world, and... Yeah. All of this potency, all of this energy that is bubbling in your body, dynamic energy, pain, anxiety, Fear, loss and hope and fear, all of this is the dynamic energy of open intelligence. This is the correct definition. This is why we call it the standardized solution, because this is, yeah, that's, that's how it works. And it, you come to realize it in short moments repeated many times. It's a simple thing. You have anxiety and then you choose to instinctively recognize open intelligence. In the beginning, anxiety or any other afflictive state or any data whatsoever is a reminder for you to just instinctively recognize open intelligence. What's present right now, what's at the base is simple, great, it's there, I can relax. And then, and then you see that the anxiety self-releases itself, there's nothing to do about it. 
So all the effort, again, is released, totally released for the benefit of all. And we need support for that, you see. Like I said, I came with lots of arrogance, so for sure the, the generous, genuine, majestic offering of the Four Mainstays, you know, like a lifelong support, basically for free, based on donation, for each individual all over the world, to recognize open intelligence 24-7, plus get to know their strengths, gifts and talents and utilize them for the benefit of all. I don't need it. You know, that was my... <laughs> why? I, 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 I practiced mm for 10 years, so I don't need it. You know, so... <laughs> and then I saw, wow, people are really getting it. You know, where other places that I went, people didn't get it. There was one person in a special state, but all the rest were very miserable. And I didn't want to be a miserable person. And there was a time in India before I met the training where I said, oh man, I'm like, oh woman, I'm 25 years old. That was five years ago, which means now I'm 30. I'm getting old. <laughs> I, I was like, no, I don't want to live my life like that. I don't want to live my life seeking for something, getting tired, trying harder and harder and not getting results. And that's what the moment where I met the Balance View training, which I think is just perfect. So, and now it becomes easier for people to get it. So support is needed, you know. Trainers are there like guides. If you need support, there is a primary trainer, but we are also trainers, so you can ask your questions in training settings, in open meetings, everywhere. Clarity calls, it's available. Community, so inspiring. You see people, how they change on a daily basis. You see them shine. You see them stable. You see them in yourself. You see, you see others. You see in others yourself, the power you have and the capacity. And for me, it's the greatest uh, inspiration. Because I, I thought that people are really, I wouldn't say it, but I thought we are not so good. <laughs> uh, due to the results that I saw all over myself, all over the world. So. And the practice, such a simple practice. I mean, after the initial doubt and skepticism, it's so simple, you can't believe it. And then also uh, the trainings, media, audios, everything, listening to talks, the instinctive recognition is evoked. You challenge yourself. I like this word. You challenge yourself not to take any longer assumptions about humanity that are so limited, like the trash thingy Candice talked about. So limited. I, I wouldn't agree to that, and I don't agree to that, and I can't see anyone like that, which is great. You know, everyone is lovely and everyone is powerful. <coughs> now I have a great example for support, few and arrogance. Few months ago I went to, to uh, have a blood test, and many times in the past with blood tests I was really wimpy about it, which means, you know, like I needed to lie down and but I came with a special mood and I came to the nurse, she was very nice, and I said, you know, in the past I used to take it really hard and now I'm totally fine. Like, and then she, she was so, I was so confident about it that I know it already and I know what to do. So she just, you know, poked me there and uh, the needle and I was like, yeah, I can even look at it once I couldn't. Know. And suddenly, <laughs> I was like, um... Um, I think you need to take out the <laughs> and I fainted. <laughs> I fainted for three seconds, but it felt like an entire lifetime. I have to admit it was fun. I was totally high afterwards. <laughs> but, but, and then I said, okay, uh, next time I will ask to lie down and I will inform them that I'm a bit sensitive. Although I'm a man, you know, I will inform them that I have some symptoms that are a bit funny. Same with the support of the Four Mainstays, you know. Uh, whatever is your disposition, whatever is your background, it's so perfect. Just be open and, and that's it. And your life is arranged for you by your own power and intelligence. Everyone can be empowered. Everyone. Everyone. Including you, you know, the ones with horrible ups and downs, including you. I mean, my ups and downs are not fun at all. They used to be not fun. Now I like them. They are less and less distracting. One of the metaphors we use is of the color blue in the sky. 
open intelligence and data are inseparable. They are, they are not divided. They are like the color blue and the sky. You can't say, okay, this is sky and color blue is this nice addition to it. They are seamlessly blended together. And this is our experience of open intelligence. More and more inseparability becomes the case. Some of the results, you want to know results, right? Complete mental and emotional stability. <laughs> Sounds like science fiction for most people living today. Complete mental and emotional stability. Doesn't mean getting rid of your afflictive states, not at all. It means seeing that they are included and they are not distracting. That's amazing. You know, so attempts to get rid or modify afflictive states, they are useless. They are so useless, it's a really a waste of time to try and do them. Changing a negative state to a positive one? Come on, who are you fooling? Okay, so we have that. That's the ground of being. That's how you start your day, with complete mental and emotional stability. So you wake up to the morning, in the morning, and you have anxiety. Complete mental and emotional stability. Spontaneous existence means that you utilize this body that we don't know much about, I have to admit, I don't know much about it. I know that I had many ideas, but most of them were incorrect. There was spam knowledge, not aligned with reality. So, I don't know what the body really is, you know. I know that the body of open intelligence is probably much more vast and capable. So I get used to it, I get to know it, I explore it within myself. How to take care of it, you know, no extremes, like there's no body. You heard that probably those of you who have been in India for a while. There's no body, there's no body, no one is there, who's talking to you? Ooh, all the spooky stuff, you know. There's a body, it's funny, there's lots of issues all the time, even in the age of 30. Like, who, you know, you're always there. How to use this body to be of benefit to all? Then it becomes exciting. Then disease bec become exciting. A neck that is stiff like that become exciting. How can I utilize it to instinctively recognize more open intelligence and be of benefit to all? By testing it out in my own experience. You know, this, this is how we want to use our body. Or qualities and activities and speech. Speech that will evoke the instinctive recognition in others, you know the way you hold yourself in space, that people will see, ah, there I see stability. There I see reality. No more people are victimized and so lost by their data stream. You know, I'm a victim, I feel today this. And that's how I used to spend my relationship, you know, my girlfriend, poor thing. Like, I used to talk with her and share with her every sensation, <laughs> every data that popped to my head, because I thought that it's true honesty, but it's not. True honesty is taking responsibility and recognizing open intelligence. And then relationships are harmonized and they are not used as a trash bin. You know the ones in, it depends in which system you are using, there's a trash bin in the computer where we throw all the, the data, all the files we don't need. That's how I used my relationships, but not anymore. So the four mainstays are great. Standardized solution and customized, especially for you. Your in all individual powerful life story. How can you be empowered to be the best you can?